What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And today I want to make a quick video kind of talking about some things I would like to see changed uh, with the big update we're getting tomorrow. Of course, tomorrow is July the 28th. We're supposed to have a massive update to Red Dead Online. No news about anything coming to single player, which I know is a disappointment to a lot of people, including myself. I would like to see some changes to the single player mode, uh, some new things added in. But as of right now, it looks like it's going to be just an online uh, update. They said they're going to bring a new Frontier Pursuit, which is supposed to kind of uh, involve a naturalism style role there's been a lot of rumors this could be a trapper a hunter gatherer who knows we're not sure of course until we see it tomorrow and also we know there's going to be a new outlaw pass uh the one thing that i would like to see change with the outlaw pass is just kind of more quality items for the people that buy the premium pass if you're going to purchase the premium pass i feel like the last two outlaw passes had some nice items but at the same time there was a lot of filler in there as well so i, I feel like if there were more cool items a lot more people would buy that premium pass when it comes to just things I would like to see, we have not had an update in around seven months here on console that was really significant. Um, and I think there's a lot of things that have stayed the same since the game has released that a lot of people would like to see change. One will be prices. Uh, prices are way too high in the game. We've talked about this in videos before on the channel. Uh, the If you go from story mode to online mode, it's, it's crazy at the difference in, in prices of just weapons or whatever the case may be. So I think price changes would be nice. Some new items added into that weapon pool, the horses, whatever the case may be there. Uh, some bug fixes. There's a lot of bugs, a lot of glitches in game. I think a lot of that, would, if a lot of that got cleaned up, a lot of people would enjoy their playtime in game a lot more. Something else for defensive mode. A lot of people still don't like the way the defensive mode works in game. A lot of people still want private lobbies. I don't know if we'll ever get that, but those would be really nice additions. Um, some other things I would like to see, of course, would be just some fixes to the animal spawn situation. You all know I have talked about this and talked about this and talked about this. The animal spawn situation is horrible and has been bad for almost a year now. It, I think it turns a lot of people off playing the game. I think it turns a lot of people off from doing the trader role because you can't find any animals at all to hunt in game. So that just kind of discourages people from playing. And with high prices, uh, you know, the ability to not make a lot of money, it just kind of makes people just stop playing. Um, of course, I think if all these things that I just mentioned were fixed, I think a lot of people would come back to the game. You know, they're going to add new things, so it would give people new things to do and fix some of the old problems. But there's been a few rumors lately about some stuff that I kind of want to end with this here for the video. Um, there's been some, some rumors of things that could be coming in future updates, and Rockstar did say they were going to have more than just this update. So we'll kind of have to wait and see how often they plan on updating the game. They have said that in the past about Red Dead Online, and really it took months and months before we got the next update. So... I'm not really going to hold my breath on that one, but uh, there's been rumors of legendary animal hunts in the online mode, which would be awesome. I really enjoy the legendary animal hunts in single player. There also has been discussions of dynamic in-game events. Now, a lot of this stuff has been leaked by data miners, and I think if those two things were added in, you know, legendary animal hunts and dynamic world events that you could do, that would keep people very interested in playing all the time because there would be something to do, you know, if you weren't working on your role or you're done with the role you'll have other things to do in game and i think that's one reason people get discouraged and quit playing if they can look past all the other issues i've just talked about is because they really don't have anything to do once their role is complete they get tired of doing just the same thing day in and day out anyway guys leave me a comment let me know what you think about the update tomorrow and what you're wanting to see with that update of course if you like the video hit the like if you haven't subscribed yet please do so if you are a subscriber make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live if you have a chance to share the video, please do. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and GT Racing, which is the affiliate here on the channel. All that information, like I said, is listed down in the description below. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.